Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. Uh, it is Saturday, the 23rd, yes, 23rd of March. I did not do a Frog It or Finish It video yesterday. Um, I fell asleep <laughs> because yesterday was the first, like, one of the first full days that I worked since I hurt my back. <clears throat> it is, I am still in the living room, uh, recording, but there's two reasons for that. <laughs> One reason is this couch is comfortable and the heating pad is plugged up. It's right where I need it to be. Um, and the second reason is I received some packages and I just, I told the kids just take them and put them in there. So when I walked into the, to my craft room, they're like right in the middle of the aisle and I can't bend down and pick them up and no one's here right now. I'm home alone. So I figured I'll just do one here because this is where I sit and, um, you know, crochet and put in this little bin anyway because I'm just doing market prep. Um, don't have any orders right now that I know of, <laughs> that I'm aware of. <laughs> Anyway, if today's your birthday, March 23rd, happy birthday to you. If it is your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It's early here. It's about 7.50 in the morning. Um, Jack has already left. He's been gone for about half an hour or so. And uh, yeah, so I got my coffee and my mug, my bee mug that I got from Mary. And I am drinking... Um, Creme brulee coffee. It's pretty good. Oh, it's hot though. Hold on. <laughs> this is a really deep cup too. I mean, you, I don't know. I couldn't, it doesn't look like it's that deep, but um, I always do like a 12 ounce cup and this is only halfway full and I just, I just brewed it. So, <laughs> It's just more coffee I can fit in that cup. I'm excited about that. <laughs> anyway, I have a very little recollect recollection of what I did last Friday. Other than, I know I showed you guys some stuff that I made. I don't know. Uh, I, I've been asleep like half of the week, you guys. <laughs> um, and I can't take my pain medicine when I'm at work. <clears throat> so... You know, but um, I've been exercising. I I sit on the floor and just do like I I lean forward, and that really does help. Uh, they did an X-ray. Nothing is like there's no broken. It's just very bruised from me, you know, <laughs> falling down three steps <laughs> like a goober. Um, <clears throat> okay, so. Let's get let's get right into this stuff because I'm uh, I'm actually starving. I gotta go get me something to eat. And um, all right, so here's my bin. It's getting full, you guys. I think when I first showed it to you, I only had like maybe 15 items in here. I don't know. So I really want to get. <laughs> here's my problem. The problem that I have with myself is that. I know that I, I've got this market coming up and it's not until June, but I want to be prepared for it because it is five days as I told you. But I tell myself, okay, today I'm just going to work on scrunchies. And after so many, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to make another scrunchie. So, so then uh, I stop and I work on something else. So I think maybe half a day scrunchies and half a day something else. I just don't know. Um, and I also pulled out you guys remember I bought a bunch of these when I was in Texas for Thanksgiving. A bunch of these Ogos in the blanket yarn because they were like five bucks. So um, I'm, you know, I took another one out to use it, and I did make an octo out of it. But then I then I stopped because I'm like, do, do people really want octos out of this color? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, I like the colors, but I'm thinking. Maybe I'll just make, now this one I might make an octo, I don't know, but maybe a monster out of this one, and if I can get a monster out of this. So I made an octo out of this one, I'll show you here in a minute, 
um, and it did not turn out bad, but um, I noticed that when I, cause you know, my last market, I had a bunch of Octos that were um, bright colors and uh, polka dots and you know, variegated, whatever, and they sold really well. I think, especially when you're thinking about a little kid looking for something like a stuffy, uh, they might go for those colors and not something that's just a solid color that's not really, you know, bright. It almost looks like a worm. You know what? I'm just looking at this and like, put some eyes. <laughs> it just looks weird. Anyway, okay, I'll stop. But that's what I was thinking. So um, here's what I did. Oh, that's better. Okay. Oh, I finished my dishcloth. You guys remember I had started this? So I'm like, oh man, I got to finish that. So I did finish it. Lisa Stitch, of course. I just, I mean, look, I just love it. It's a good stitch. And I needed to replenish a few dishcloths. I'll, I'll make more, I'm sure. Um, oh, and I wanted to add, man, I, I've got, I got a list. Oh, I don't know what I did with my notebook. Hmm. And it might be in the kitchen. Anyway, I've been making a list of items because you guys are sending me some really good ideas. Like the little chick covers or the chicken, no, egg covers that look like a chicken. Uh, let's see what else. Um, there was another one. Oh, bunnies. There's a few bunnies. I haven't made any yet. I just, I've got them on my list. And you know, everyone likes bunnies. I don't have to, not necessarily just for Easter, but if I can get a couple made up, I will. Um, I did make, oops, I don't want to spill my coffee. I keep hitting the thing, but I don't want to hit the camera either or the, the phone. All right. So anyway, I want to get more of those made up as well. Now, let me see, because I showed you guys, you remember last time, the last video, I don't know how long ago that was, guys, but I showed you, I thought Jordan might have taken it, <laughs> um, and I put the link in the description box in that video, so I'll just cut and paste it, but I was making uh, gummy bears. It's a little gummy bear, and I thought, well, this one's a little too small, because um, it's with that really, that thin chenille yarn that I got, or velvety yarn. So um, I made one with, um, this is the remainder of the Juicy Couture from what I was doing. So see on camera, you can see it better that it looks like a bear. But look at the difference in the size. <laughs> and I didn't double up on this one. I didn't double, it's just, this is the Juicy Couture, number five bulky, and this is a number four. I like this size better. Um, and I, I even want to go up another size if possible. This is super cute. I am giving this to Jordan because she just totally fell in love with it. And I, as I, I think I told you guys, she used to sing I'm a Gummy Bear, that, that Gummy Bear song. And so when she saw this, she was like, oh my gosh, it's a Gummy Bear. So I'm going to give this one to her. And I do like this size, but I would like to get just a little bit bigger if possible. Um, and I've got a bunch of the velvet yarn that I received, like this yarn here. This is a yarn I got from Sheen. And there was a bunch of them. Where is it at? They all came, they were like $2. So you remember the long, oh, here's the long one. So this is the one I got from Sheen as well. I bought three of these and they averaged like $2.18. Um, very luxurious, very soft, but it is a number four weight. So I thought, hmm. Um, I personally, so far, because, you know, I'm still getting into this amigurumi thing. I am still wanting to use like the bulky weight yarn because you have to use such a small hook. And even though the handle is thicker for my hands, I just don't like using smaller hooks. So, um, I'm going to turn these into, um, man, guys, this is so soft. Oh my gosh. It is so soft. Um, was this the gummy bear one? No, it's not. Because it, it, it almost looked like the same color, but it isn't. But because this is a four weight, I tried making, um, an octo with a, with an H hook. Now I, I will try to make one out of a 4.5, but I don't like it ho holy. Yeah. I don't like it holy because you don't want anybody to see the stuffing and 
have little holes in your project. You want it as tight as possible. So I'll try to make an octo out of it. If it doesn't work out with a 4.5 millimeter hook, then um, I think what I'm going to do is just use these for like scrunchies and headbands because um, I've made, oops, I've made headbands before. Um, did I show you guys this purple? Uh, look at that yarn, you guys. Oh my gosh. I think I showed it to you when it was in the bag, but wow. And this is the blue one. And this is the orange one. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that it? So, so soft. Um, and they came packaged individually, just like this one. Only these came in packs of three. And then I ordered in some of the smaller balls as well. They're all four weight. So this size right here is the one I'm using. So that's, I mean, it's a mess, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of messy, but um, let me put that back. But oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, ugh, it's just the softest yarn. I love it. Okay, so with this one, I wanted to show you. Where is it at? Because, um, oops. And there it is. Okay. So I, you know, you guys have been really great. You've been, I've been asking, hey, what, what am I going to make? What should I make? And you guys have responded because you're super awesome. And I appreciate you. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So with this one, I just started last night. So with this one last night, I have made three scrunchies. So... There's this one, okay. And this one is single crochets around and then triple crochet around three times in each stitch. I'll put that right there. And then, uh, let's see, I made this one. Why is this one bigger? Hold on, was this one? I'm sorry, you guys, that's, no. This one was, was a double crochet. This one is triple crochet around. You see the difference? So this is single crochet, double crochet, and three double crochets in each one. This is single crochet all the way around till you can't make any more, did not count it. And then um, triple crochet, three of them in each stitch. And that's what made it, because I wanted it a little bit fluffier. So I'm gonna sell the smaller ones like this, two for five. The bigger ones though, and this isn't even as big as I wanted. So then I, I um, called upon a yarny friend <laughs> um, and I made this one a little, so see how much fluffier it is? This one versus this one. So I really like this right here. I like how, how nice and fluffy it is. It's a good stretchy headband or, um, um, ponytail, ponyo, ponytail holder, scrunchie. Well, these are scrunchies, but the ponytail holders, the ponios are very good and stretchy. And I just bought like 200 off of Amazon for $10. So that's what I used. I bought one pack of different colors. Let me show you. I, I just opened them all up and put them in a baggie. So I bought one bag or one pack that had a bunch of colors in it and then one bag that had all black. So, yeah. So for 20 bucks, I got all these. I got 400 of them. I think it was, 20, maybe it was $8.99. I think $9.99 were my safety eyes, which I have in bags, and I've made so many things. I've This is all I have left, so I gotta get some more. Because those are my 12 millimeter eyes. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so they're all different. They're all different sizes. This one's this one being the largest. So these will be two for five. I'm gonna put that in the corner. Um, and I don't know, maybe five dollars for these. And I don't. I only want to make two two sizes. So this might be given away. If I keep it, I'll just sell it for like maybe three bucks or something. I don't know. But I like I like them big and fluffy because that's what I think people are looking for. Um, and I don't normally, do I normally make scrunchies for a craft show? I sure don't. But I'm just thinking outside the box, something that's gonna be quick to make, and those scrunchies only take minutes to do. So, 
So with the same yarn, the same yarn, I made a octo using the pattern by Jenna, crochet by Jenna. She will also be linked in the description box below. Uh, and this was with a 4.5. So it turned out okay. It's still not as small as I'd like. Um, you see what, see what I mean? But the Jack kept saying, it looks fine. It looks fine. And I'm like, oh, you just don't understand. <laughs> I told him, I go, I don't want anybody to have to see the stuffing or anything. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it closes up well. It's not bad. But I just prefer um, the, the thicker chenille velvety yarn. It's not bad, though. But so I did make another octo. And these little octos I plan on selling for $5. So because it's just they're nice and small. And this one you've already seen, but I'm going to show you the difference in the size. So when I oops. So when I had this size at my sh at my craft show um, earlier this month, I sold them for $10 each. And so I thought, oh, I'll sell these for five because it's always good to have a price point, of course, that's lower. And five dollars is not bad, and I think that's a good that's a good thing. Um, I really like this yarn. I'm I I might have to get more of it because my little stingrays. I showed you guys I made two stingrays out of it. Um, so I've got those. I'm just gonna take all of them out. There's another one. So two of those, and then um, where's it at? I've got this yarn that I got from Hobby Lobby. Today's the last day of the sale. So I might send my granddaughter. She's always calling me going, Nana, is there anything I can do for you? Do you need anything? She's so sweet. And I'm, and I'm going to tell her, yeah, I'm going to want you to go to Hobby Lobby and shop for me. That's what I'm going to need for you, from you. So let's see how that works out. She she likes going shopping, so it's okay. So this is the Adora Ball Super Bulky. Okay. It's really windy out. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, and this colorway is... This colorway is uh, aqua. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful color. I mean, look at that. So I've already made the top portion of a larger stingray. So this is how you do it. You make two, two panels. One is going to be the color that you want. This is the back panel because that's a thing. So one is going to be the color that you want your stingray to be. And the other one is going to be the white part. So um, the, the, the bottom part of the stingray. I don't have the eyes on or anything yet. Um, so I'm just making them. I, I ran out of yarn for this one. Um, let's see. But I also have a, this one I'm going to be making. And I left myself plenty of yarn to sew it in. And there's this one. So this one I'm um, is this... The color from the Bernat o, um, Ogo or the, the blanket yarn they have, the three colors. Um, and I know it looks kind of wonky. But then when you sew it together, it looks so, it's such a cute little stingray. But there's that one. I'm going to make a stingray out of that. Uh, I was hoping to fit this together, but it's a little, it's a little off. Because they're two different types of yarns. This is actually mainstays. Um... Let me see. Yeah, this is this is Mainstay's yarn. My granddaughter got this for me. I told her to look for Burnett. She goes, I don't have it. So this is their Cozy Chenille yarn. Where is it at? There you go. Nope, Lisa. Hello. There. Sorry. This is their Cozy Chenille yarn. And I wanted to make, of course, stingrays and other stuff with it. So this is my first attempt using this yarn to make a stingray. So now I got to get one in another color or just get another blanket yarn. It's very similar and make a color for the stingray and put them <clears throat> for the stingray and put them together. It's kind of weird that my voice changed there. Um, and then there's this one, uh, which I will be finishing. I just got to get all that yarn there. So there's that. Oh, there's the white one. And this one was the first one that I sold. A little girl saw it. Um, this is actually smaller than the one I made. I used a larger hook, but I thought it might have been a little, I wanted it a tighter stitch this time. So, um, but she got a big one and then she got a little one to make it as 
the mom, so the, or the baby. So this is the mom stingray, and this was the baby stingray, which I thought was super cute. She was maybe, I don't know, if I had to guess, maybe nine. And she was really excited to see the stingray. So, boy, this stuff, I'll tell you what, this yarn, when you're working with it and you're done and you cut it, it sheds like crazy. Crazy. Um. Okay, so, <laughs> sorry guys, I have a lot here. So, okay. And I did have a purple. I had this really pretty purple color that I also ordered from, I don't I don't think I used it all. Did I use it all? There are so many scrunchies in here, in here you guys. I got to count them. So this Octo, <laughs> uh, let me explain this Octo to you. We started watching this TV show called The Librarians. Um, it's got Noah Weil in it. Wiley or Weil, um, Rebecca Romaine and John Larroquette. It's a TV show, but before the TV show, there were three movies, a trilogy called The Librarian, and Noah Wiley starred in that as well. And I'm watching it. Hold on. So I'm watching it, and I'm trying to make an octo. Now, you would think this Octo is just the cutest little purple Octo you ever did see. Only thing is, he's got 10 tentacles. <laughs> I was not paying attention to what I was doing, and I'm just like... And then I thought, why does that look like so many? And I probably could have put... So, I don't know. I, I was off somewhere. Um, so, <laughs> this will go to one of my grandkids, probably Jacob. My, my eight-year-old, he's my youngin', my youngest one. But uh, I don't know, I just thought it was funny. Cause I'm like, that's what, I, that's what happens. So this is why I say I have to crochet when I'm watching something I've already seen so I don't have to look up at the stupid TV. So I find like Harry Potter, seen it a bajillion times, you guys. Um, so I don't need to really look up unless it's a favorite part or a funny part or you know, one that I just want to look up and, you know, I'm uh, crocheting. But other than that, it, it just has to be like when I watch old movies, I, I watch when it's a project that I know I, I got to pay attention to. <laughs> I have, I'll watch like Rebecca. I'll watch that again. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Got it memorized, you guys. Um, I just watched, um, not Mrs. Miniver. That's got Greer Garson in it. I also watched, um. Oh, I was just talking about it. Joan Crawford was in it. And it was not Mommy Dearest. It was the other one. Um, mm, oh, it's right there on the top of my... Uh, it'll come to me. You guys know which one it is. Her daughter, Vita. Whew, she was a character. Oh, my goodness, that woman. Um, okay, so anyway, yeah. So don't get distracted. <laughs> don't get distracted. Because it's a good show. If you haven't seen it. It's super cute, and it's one I can watch with my grandkids. Um, I always try to find something because they're here all the time. So when they come to visit, I don't want to. I don't want to put something on that's got stuff in it that's inappropriate for my babies to watch. So the librarians is super cute. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, there's my ten, my my my, my ten uh, ten tentacle uh, octo which will probably be going to my grandson, Jacob. All right. But out of that same yarn, I was able to get, whoops. Okay, hold on. I can get this. <sighs> right on the top, five. I was able to get five scrunchies. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So this one was deliberately made smaller because <clears throat> it was the ball. Was it this little ball? Uh, it might have been. Oh, I don't remember, you guys. I want to say it was this size. So I got five scrunchies out of it and an octo. And I really don't know where the rest of that yarn went. It's weird that that was all of it. But you know what? Here, here's the thing. It was $2.18. I'm okay with that. <laughs> So for $2.18, if that's what this was, for a size like this, uh, I didn't even, you know, they don't really have good, um, 
weight measurements. They don't have any idea. Uh, they didn't have, not, they don't have any idea, but they didn't list any idea for the, the length of it or, that I know. They, they might have. If they did, I'll check and I'll see. But I made this one because this was the leftover yarn and I'm like, oh man, when I saw the, the pile, I thought I don't have enough to do a scrunchie because, you know, I have to put three in each stitch. And I'll tell you what, I had maybe uh, a half an inch of yarn left over when I was done with this scrunchie. So that ball of yarn made five scrunchies and an octo. And I would have had some left over had I not made 10 tentacles on it, on the octo. So, so I guess it worked out pretty well. But I'm thinking, not bad for $2.18. And it's nice and roughly. And this would be a nice you know, a cute one for a little girl. So there's that. Okay. There was something else I wanted to show you. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the, um, okay. I've got another one and then there's the green. If I haven't shown you the, the green one, I don't remember. I should have looked at the last video, but those are the green from, um, the gummy bear that I made. And you can see how much smaller they are. I just like a nice, good, fluffy scrunchie. And that's just too thin. Um, and I hope I showed you my bow. Bow, bow, bow. I think it's just bow. I think that's how you say it. But I made four of these little guys. <clears throat> and this one is leftover wool. I don't even know if it's going to sell. It's leftover um, wool ease. And it made a larger one. I Because the ones, the normal ones, the normal size, this is the very first one I made. So here's the difference. There's the difference in the size right there. And I, they're they're really cute. But I don't want to make a lot of these because I don't even know if kids, I don't know. Um, if they like them and they sell out, great. Then I'll, I'll probably make sure instead of only having four, maybe I'll make six. I don't know. But I wanted to just concentrate on um, scrunchies and things like that. So I don't know if I, yeah, I showed you guys my green octo. I should have left these in a separate container, guys. I'm sorry. I don't, and you guys know that I've been making, um, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little worse for wear, but um, I sent my granddaughter to our Joann's, which is closing, and uh, she was only able to find two other Juicy Couture, which are the colors I already had. Uh, they had one, oh, they did have a purple one though, but there was something wrong with it. I bought one purple the last time I went there, but when she showed it to me, I said, I don't want that one. I'm, I mean, it's $6. They're not giving you anything off of it because it's clearance. They're not using any coupons for it. So I want my yarn to, you know, I want, I don't want to have to cut any off because it's got a stain or because it's too tangled up and that drives me insane. So no, but such a cute pattern. If you guys have not made this axolotl yet, you should check it out. Crochet by Jenna. Her link will be in the description box below. They're they're easy to make. After you make the first one and you you um, get the color changing for the fins down and get the eyes on there, you're like, oh, that wasn't bad. And you do the bobble stitch for the for the legs, and then the tail. So really, really quick. Less than an hour to make. Just saying. Um, then, I know you guys are like, please don't show me any more scrunchies, Lisa. But guess what? I'm going to show you scrunchies. <laughs> All right. So you remember a while back, um, last summer. Yeah, it was last summer because I met up with Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast. Hi, Terry. And she gave me a bunch of yarn, which I paid it forward and uh, distributed it with some of my yarny friends and my children. And so now I'm on, I've got this, let me see if I can grab it out of my, I have this bag here. Oh, well, I just keep dropping things and there, I'll get them. So here's the Parfait, Parfait Chunky. Is that what it was? Parfait, yeah. So I'm using this and I'm going to be making black scrunchies. And it's, it's just super soft. And this is the same the same one, and it's black. So it's not like you can see it very well where I started. But it's just a bunch of single crochets around and then triple crochet. And it makes a nice 
cute little fluffy scrunchie. And this is nice and soft yarn. So I just made that one because I wanted to see how it looked. I really am got the dropsies today. Um, <clears throat> okay, then <laughs> I'm almost done, you guys. Okay, this came in the mail. Um, it's, this was the last one that was missing with my order. Or not the last one. The first one, I ordered, um, I think, five of these because they were $8.99 on sale. So they were $11.99 on sale for $8.99. And then I was able to use a 25% off coupon. So that took them down to $6.70. And, like and there's 315 yards in this thing. 315 yards. And I got it for $6. So I definitely wanted to get one. And all I've made so far with it, it was a scrunchie. But I think I can make an octo. I love this color. Um, I think I ordered, I think I ordered a pink one and a purple and a blue. Pink, purple, blue, and maybe white. I don't know. But they should be here today. So, and it's just super soft and squishy. So there's, <laughs> there's another one. But 315 yards, that was not a bad deal. And they don't have any at my Joann's, so I had to order it online. <sighs> so there's that. Let me get all my things back in this bin. It's it's good to see that the bin is is taking um taking shape by being full. <laughs> I love that. And there's that. All right. So with the blue, which one was this? Oh, this was the blue yarn. Nope. Wow, where'd this come from? This might have been the, oh, it was because it was too thick. So this was the last. You remember I had um, remnants of the Juicy Couture. This is, I made a frog. He's a little bit smaller and his legs aren't as long, but that's because I didn't have a, a lot of yarn to work with. And he just is so super cute. So I did make one frog. I got to make some more. He is definitely smaller than I normally make. But he's so cute. Such a great pattern. This one will also be linked in the description box below for anyone who wants to try to make one. So I can't even believe I'm making amigurumi, you guys. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so then... I know you're like, are you done yet, Lisa? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay, let me position here, guys. Because I can only... All right, so this thing, I love this heating pad. I turned it on and it's not quite, I must have turned it on a few minutes after I started this video because it hasn't shut off yet. So it automatically um, turns itself off um, after 30 minutes. So it'll be going off here in like two or three minutes, I'm sure. That's because you know, you're not supposed to have continuous heat. And um, I got Icy Hot Patch, which I've been wearing to work. Um, on my back, which helps as well. Um, I was actually able to bend almost like, like from standing up like this to bend over like that. It's still, it still hurts. It's like a stretchy, like, oh, I pulled a muscle kind of pain, but not like, oh my gosh, I can't do that because it was even hard to stand up straight. I'm not going to lie to you. It was, it was quite the, um, quite the ordeal. <laughs> Uh, okay, so with this yarn that I got from, like this one, I have a, I had a brown, uh, I don't know if it was, it must have been a smaller ball because I can't find it anywhere. And I've got a huge bag down here, just chock full of chenille yarn to make, um, octos, frogs, scrunchies. What else? Oh, and stingrays. That's that's my bag for those. So I, I did make a couple of headbands. Sorry, I've got fuzzies all over me. So I did have a brown color. It must have been a small one. And uh, I don't know where the other one is, but I was able to make five out of the brown as well. So this was the first one. Or no, this was the last one because I didn't have a lot left over. But you see how nice and fluffy these are? Hold on. Maybe you can't because I can't, I'm not showing you right. And there's that one. And there's that one. So I'm trying to think of colors. 
that they're gonna want to go with their items. They're just so fluffy. It almost looks like a brain. Oh, okay, sorry. It did. All right, so there, <laughs> there's that. One more thing, you guys, one more thing, and then I'm done for now. And I'm gonna get to work on some other stuff and then I will show you what I'm working on when I'm done with that. Um, oh, and I did receive happy mail. But it, it's going to have to be brought out to me. It's in a big box. They're gonna, that's what they left in front of the thing. And I knew it was coming from, uh, I want to say Angela, but if I'm wrong, it's okay. I will have, I will give you all of the, like where it came from and why and what's going to happen with it. So, um, yeah, so that'll be another video. Okay, so now let's get to this Octo that I made with this kind of weird color, which kind of looks like an, a uh, brownish grayish color and I wasn't sure if I wanted to make an octo out of it well I did make an octo and I know I'm always saying I'm gonna make one of those octos from rel because I'd made a few before guess what this is a rel from the dabbling hook this is one of her octos and it's it's so cute and I made his I made the eyes silver and I thought they looked really cute so, and she's always linked in my description box below. So, yay, look at how cute. Hey, it only has eight tentacles, you guys. I didn't overdo it on this one. I love it. <laughs> so, it's super cute. So, um, I, I'll be making more, but like I said, since it's an octo, I thought, oh, well, you know, that's a good color. But maybe I'll just look for some brighter ones. I don't know. If you if you have been watching, and if you haven't, I don't know why you haven't. You need to hop on over there. Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. She makes a ton of octos. She's This is why she is my yarny bestie. Because <laughs> she gets obsessed with patterns like I do. <laughs> we just can't stop. We just make it over and over and over and over. Um, anyway... She's got some really cute octos that she made out of variegated yarn. You guys got to go and check out her last yarn yakking video because it is super cute. Um, anyway, I, so now I'm like looking through my stash. I'm, I'm wanting... It's, okay, first of all, before I let you go, I got to tell you this story. So um, this is obviously, you know, if I'm not... When I'm getting up, I'm moving a little bit slower. I don't want to hurt my back anymore. And it's feeling a lot better. Um, so hopefully the next time I have this video, you will see my yarn wall. I'll be in my craft room. But I've just got a lot of stuff in there. When I get packages, they just put it in the room. So I'll get everything sorted out. But my grandkids are here. You know, Abby is here. They're just so great. So I, I told them, I, um, I'm like, I, I'm not going to be able to pick that up. If I drop something, I'm like, I, 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 and so I'm yelling, something will fall. I'm like, Abigail, I'm like yelling for her, Cameron, <laughs> Jordan. And they come rushing up because they think something's wrong. What's wrong? What's going on? What happened? I'm like, I just need you to pick this up for me because I'm not going to be able to bend down and get that. So they're, they are bringing all kinds of, of yarn for me when I'm like, hey, bring me this, bring me that. So they're going in there and getting things, and I just really appreciate them so, so much. Oh, my gosh. They're, they're some great kids. So um, the only thing is every time I make something, they're like, well, can I have it? No. <laughs> I'm trying to get market prep stuff together. I can't give you every single thing. Now, the tentacle, the 10 tentacle octo is a little bit different because it's got 10. So um, I just love this. So I have her... The big box that I had, um, uh, I had a big box that a bookcase or something came in, but I used that to, they had a sale on blanket yarn. It was right during, it was during the time, right at the time that, um, Hobby Lobby was having their, their annual clearance and their blanket yarn was marked from $14.99 down to $3.49. So... I bought some and then the next year they had more and I bought more. So they're stacked in that box. So I told them, go find me some variegated yarn to make some octos out of. So they're in there and there's just like blanket yarn all over the place. It's just hilarious. 
Then Jordan gets inside the box. <laughs> and I'm like, aren't you a little old to be getting into the boxes? And she just looked at me and she says, no, not really. She's 10. The thing is, she is 5'5 five, five right now. She has surpassed me in height. I am 5'4 and a half. And she just, just all straight up skinny, you guys. And she's in this gigantic box. She says, I just wanted to see if I could fit in it. And I'm like, all right. So it was just really cute. Um, I love when I have stories like that, that I hope I'm around to tell her when she's older. Um, it's, it's just great. And it's, there's, there's no greater thing in the world than a child being a child. Um, in my line of work, they grow up entirely too fast and they've got to deal with so much negativity and, and so much trauma. And it's just so wonderful, um, to just see a child being a child and laughing and goofing off and having an imagination. So yeah, <laughs> great memories. You guys make them every single chance you get make them, uh, make them wonderful. Um, yeah. And so Jordan is coming over later so that we can crochet together. I'm super excited about that. Um, she has expressed more interest. She's been making like chains and stuff. I've got like a long chain that I have on my, um, on my, that I put on my Christmas tree every year. One that she has made me. And then there's one that Amanda made when, I don't know, she was like 10. She was nine or 10. She just kept going. I'm like, what are you doing with this? She goes, I don't know. She just made a chain. It was, it's like a 12 foot chain, maybe even longer. But I'm like, I'm thinking, let's put it on the Christmas tree. And so that's how I got started. So we put it on the tree every year. But um, anyway, okay, that's it. I think everything that I talked about will be in the description box below. The leggy frogs, the octos, both octos. The um, This one's by the dabbling hook, Rel. The other one um, that I showed you is Crochet by Jenna. The bowel, that should be there. If not, I'll have to, I'll remember to put it in. Um, scrunchies, <clears throat> excuse me. There are a bunch of scrunchie patterns out there. So um, I talked to Rose, I talked to Connie, I talked to um, uh, Angie. I, there's so many people that do them and you guys do them, they're pretty similar. There's, you know, some will do like the single crochet around and then a double, three double crochets in that single and then a single crochet at the top just to kind of finish it off. And then, I hope I'm not getting sick. That's just weird, it's the second time now, hold on. <clears throat> and then, you know, there's, so I just play around with it. I just want them big and fluffy, as I stated earlier. I don't want them too small, but I am going to make some small ones because some little girls don't have really thick hair and you only need a small little one. And they might like something cute in different colors. So pink will be another color that I'm going to work on. I've got, well, this rose, but I want like a bright, I've got like a brighter pink and then a pale pink. So um, I'll have something for everyone. For boys, though, I don't know. If anyone has any suggestions for items to make for boys that are quick and easy, um, I was thinking like maybe stress balls uh, in different colors or I don't know. What do you guys make if you do markets uh, for boys? And this is going to be right in the middle of, it's the summer, it's in June. So I don't want to take hats or anything. Uh, winter hats. I am going to be making bucket hats. So would a boy wear a bucket hat? I I bet they would because they look so super cute, especially the little babies. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas or something that you make that sells well at your markets or just that you sell, even if you don't do markets, maybe you sell your items to your friends and family. Please put that in the description box below. Let me know because I would love to get any ideas that you may have. And thank you so much for sharing your ideas and sending me links um, I've been getting things on Instagram, also in my um, email about no so amigurumi. You guys are amazing. This is why I keep coming back to you. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. It's early, so you got the whole Saturday and Sunday. Have a good weekend. I have a feeling you're gonna see me. <laughs> you're gonna see me again real soon, so I can show you guys about the happy mail and anything else that I 
um, I might have forgotten to mention in this video. Hmm. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for your prayers and your comments. Um, I am feeling much better. And like I said, hopefully you'll see me again and it'll be in my craft room. Have uh, a great day. Happy hooking. I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.